Hi, this is Bob and I'd like to share a story of a conversation with a barber. A man went to a barber shop to have his hair cut and his beard trimmed. As the barber began to work, they began to have a good conversation. They talked about so many things and various subjects. When they eventually touched on the subject of God, the barber said, I don't believe that God exists. Why do you say that? asked the customer. Well, you just have to go out in the street to realize that God doesn't exist. Tell me, if God exists, would there be so many sick people? Would there be abandoned children? If God exists, there would be neither suffering nor pain. I can't imagine a loving God who would allow all of these things to happen. The customer thought for a moment, but didn't respond because he didn't want to start an argument. Not when you've got a knife against your throat. The barber finished his job and the customer left the shop. Just after he left the barber shop, he saw a man in the street with long, stringy, dirty hair and an untrimmed beard. He looked dirty and filthy. The customer turned back and entered the barber shop again and he said to the barber, You know what? Barbers do not exist. How can you say that? asked the surprised barber. I am here and I am a barber and I just worked on you. No, the customer exclaimed. Barbers don't exist. Because if they did, there would be no people with dirty long hair and untrimmed beards like that man outside. Ah, but barbers do exist. <clears throat> what happens is people don't come to me. Exactly, affirmed the customer. That's the point. God too does exist. What happens is people don't go to him and do not look for him. That's why there's so much pain and suffering in the world. And like the barber, there are millions of people throughout our world who spend their lives saying they don't believe in God. I have found that it is foolish trying to argue with them. You have to go to God, experience God before you can believe in Him. I end with this little story on the famous Mark Twain. Mark Twain, as you know, was one of the great American writers of his time. Although he was basically a rough and not very well educated person, his charm and wit made him welcome in the highest social and literary circles of America and Europe. On one of his many trips abroad, he received an invitation to dine with the Emperor of Germany. When Twain's little daughter heard about it, she exclaimed, Daddy, you know most everybody in the world, don't you? Except God. Ah, my dear friend, what's the use of knowing kings, presidents, MDs and chairmen and not knowing and experiencing God? Thank you. This is Bob signing off.